uh, but I, I don't regret any of that, but thanks for the question. Any other questions? Tony? Sure, Sheriff, um, you previously stated that thanks to the DSA, we saved some badges <clears throat> and back in the, uh, the budget crisis. Isn't it true, and I, and I may be I may be wrong, but isn't it true that you, after that, after we averted the the uh, uh, the job losses, that you increased your administration and increased the pay of some of your administrators? That's not true. That's not true. No, unless you have a specific person that I added. Uh, we actually we eliminated two captains and at least two commanders. You could make a case we eliminated three. Uh, and didn't replace them, and everyone in the executive management team picked up the slack, especially for those captains. So if you go look at Chuck Monarch uh, sitting in his office till 8 o'clock on weekends with piles and piles of projects on his desk, you know, we've all suffered because of the cuts we made, but we're willing to do that. The whole thing about being top-heavy, whether we were or not, I don't believe we were even when I took over. I think it was about rightly sized, but I can guarantee you we're not top-heavy now. Please. Hi, sure. Um, I, my question is kind of a two-part question. One is um, with the recent promotions, a lot of bodies moving. Um, uh, those positions being backfilled uh, and or patrol, um, we have a lot of people working in the administration side that um, were pretty important when they were on the street, not in the long there. Um, what's the plan to uh, get those bodies replaced? Because they're still part of the overall plan, right? They're not, those bodies haven't been Lost, they're just they need to be filled. Which one specifically? Did? Well, just those which promoted to sergeant mm -hmm. and sergeant being promoted to commander, things of that nature. Sure. And the second part of that would be um, rumor has it that the list for the sergeant and or commander have all been squashed. Um, which, that's the rumor. <laughs> so I'm, no. I don't start them, I just hear them. And so I'm just wondering is that is there any validity to that? And if, if, if not, what's the plan of the administration to uh, ensure that those things aren't? This doesn't continue. Got it. The, uh, the lists, I believe, are good for a year, so they're both still active. And the good news, from my perspective, to share with you all is that we have good people on both those lists. We have plenty of people to fill all the commander and sergeant slots within the organization. Now, I couldn't have guaranteed that would have been my thought when I came in, but I've come to know people, and we have very competent people. So uh, my hope is from now on that every position in the organization comes from within. Uh, and the first part of that was we, we just graduated eight deputy recruits from the academy last week or the week, bef the week before. Um, and we, we uh, had 13 recruits in the academy before that. We hope to have eight to ten in the one that starts in a couple of weeks. And we're backfilling now those things. We're trying to catch up with that debacle from 2011. And that's why I'm c committed to never having that happen again. So they will not get badges from us, no badges, vacant or otherwise, and we'll get all those positions filled. Uh, but as you know, the time lag between people coming out of the academy and getting in positions and backfilling the sergeants, we're trying to balance the amount of supervisors we have to get, first, our first goal is to get the teams filled with supervisors. Uh, and that took precedent. We still have a couple more sergeant openings and then we'll, we'll backfill as we can. But I share your concerns. Time. Uh, Sheriff, just as a clarification, we had the EMT meeting the other day, and uh, we were informed that the, through HR that the uh, career enhancement positions as well as the promotional uh, positions are actually a six-month through HR uh, list. Once the list is made, uh, they clarify that it's actually six months. So now, the issue here is that we are trying to go uh, back to our own HR function because HR told us this week that the uh, commander list, for example, is a year. So, if, yeah, you know. On Wednesday, um, yeah. uh, Chuck said it was six months. Yeah, and later on that day, they told me it was actually a year. So, uh, hence the confusion. Let me just guarantee all of you that if lists run out, we're going to do a list immediately so there will always be a list. So, whether it's six months or 12 months, there will always be a list so that we can draw from it immediately so that you all keep prepping to take those uh, processes and we will keep doing that till everything is filled Thank but that is we are having difficulty with downtown hr they're they're fairly absentee and it's a it's a problem thank you thank you one minute for closing remarks or is that it sure well, actually, you had two extra well, Dave, 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 took, Dave, Dave took his minute. Take, we can do it. If I could just have one minute, just thank you, thank you very much. 
Um, I enjoy being sheriff. It's, a, it's challenging, it's rewarding, it's the most difficult job I've ever had in my life, but I enjoy, I, I enjoy doing it. And the only reason I'm doing it is to try and help improve public safety in Monterey County every day. It's the only reason. I gave up half a million dollars by uh, freezing my retirement, my pension, the first four years as sheriff. If I win a second term, I will have given back one million dollars in real money for the privilege of running for sheriff and serving as sheriff. And it's a promise I made that I would not double dip. But that's a million of real dollars. So that just is not meant to sh for y'all to cry for me because I do manage to pay my bills. But just to illustrate the level of my commitment. You know, my ego doesn't need it. I'm here just to serve you. And my, my singular job is to make your job better every day. And whether you trust me enough, as that earlier question was, uh, that I'm sincere in this, I promise you, it's the only reason that I want to be sheriff, is to help you all succeed. And I thank you for your time. Thanks.